How many do this? Five minutes? Until he's done. He's gonna have to eat the whole cake. I don't know. Although he's doing a mighty good job. Dave's back, you don't have to. That's very good, Joey, but we're not eating it yet, buddy. We're going to wait for our cake. Take a picture. Take a picture. Wow, Benji. Why don't you have a corn dog instead of an animal cracker? They're super yummy. We got it from Wegmans. They're delicious. Is that so yummy? Hi. Smash it. Apple on this phone. Mima on this phone. Real life people here. <clears throat> Cars on the road. Oh, here, put this on the table in case anybody wants mustard on their pretzels. Like, there's a hundred people here that I have to feed. How'd you know? I tell you, for all of the, the stress and the challenges that come along with this, not having to get the kids out of the house at five in the morning. Oh. There are a, I'm not, not driving to Staten Island. Right, for you every day. How much more relaxed is that, oh right? So now, are you closed the rest of the year? Not officially. Yeah, well, my principal said yes because the Blasio and the Correct. teacher said yes. Right, right, right. If it changes because the is not sure. Well, Trump or said some states are opening. They said yummy. Yeah, yeah. No, not, but not well, New York. I'll tell you that. Right, right, right. right. Not New York. It's um. And not, and not Jersey either. No. That's right. No, it, I think it's good. Yeah, Rhode Island. They, I always wondered. I was telling Kate this is the same thing with the Pennsylvania. Like they started, they showed up to that one governor's meeting when the Pennsylvania right. came in there. But you know, they called it a tri-state area. What? Why is it Pennsylvania? Because Pennsylvania is so big, it goes all the way out to yeah, Ohio. Yeah, I guess. I guess. But they don't count them in there. It's a big one. He even had Rhode Island in there. Right. Well, that's. I mean, the coalition. It's the ones that called up and said, what are you doing? Right, right, right. You're the big city. What are you doing? Yeah. And now they're a part of... Which uh, makes a logical sense, right. you know? Like, California Cal the same thing. Right, they're, with they're Oregon and Washington. And they all... And I mean, it's logical. I mean, you're not going to have people from, like, Sacramento driving up to Washington. But, right. you know, you could see people from New York driving over to Jersey exactly. if the bars were open exactly. instantly, you know? And a lot of people are going, doing what the big, like the big city... The, of course, right. You know, it's not opening. And are we gonna, oh, what are we going to do? And exactly. then you have a little lowly state that has two people that got the virus. Right. <laughs> I think we could go back to work. They're ready oh to God, go. You know, yeah. It's your circumstances. Correct. Right. Dave, been, you're on um, full state now, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I actually, I don't know if I told you guys, but this so no, when... Hi. How are you? Right. We did the FMLA thing. But then once the yeah, word of the thing well. coming came out, that, I think it was that Friday when they were like, we're going to take this day. It's going to be a half day. So this is like, I don't know, the middle of March. And I'm like, if I'm going to have to be stay home... I'm just gonna apply to get full pay. So exactly. I that after that morning, that morning I sent the um, the board office a note saying like I'm ready to come back. Please terminate my early my leave and let me come back full time. I'm ready to start on Monday. You know what I mean? And so they were like, well, the board meeting's on Wednesday, so we'll start you on the Thursday. And I felt bad for my girl that was subbing for me, but she was there already subbing for somebody else. I just piggybacked her. So if anything, I gave her extra leave. And I told her from point blank at the beginning, I said, uh, when I applied for it for five weeks, I said, I don't guarantee I'm taking all five weeks. So, I mean, whatever. She landed on her feet. She's a big girl. She'll figure it out. Life will, life will go on. But for me, like, you know, she's a single kid. She's, she doesn't have any bills or expenses. And you want that full pay. Oh, for sure. Right. So then that Thursday, I was able to jump back into it. And, um, and then that Friday, I applied for the FMLA. Because you can't apply for it until after you're done with it. Which is a nightmare in itself. Space but, partner. um, I don't know why. anyway, so that so we got confirmation FMLA by itself. I mean, the government, you know, they're all fighting oh, thousands no. of people at the same time, and oh. it's the same office that does unemployment. Call her. So, I long story call short, her. Uh, you know, I, I got an email, I got a, a paper letter from them saying okay. Okay. that they have my claim, it's being processed, and I'll get my payment in a form of debit card at some point. Oh, but I have to tell you because I forgot myself. Postal lighting is a candle last night. Tonight's is good. So tonight's just good. Tonight, tonight's good. Right. Anyway, um, so... Billy wasn't on the top. So you're, you're back. I'm full-time. I'm right. doing the remote learning thing, like right. everybody else is. And I should be getting a payment from FMLA, except hey. they, they said that they had sent it and I haven't received it. Yeah. 
So yeah. now I'm like, all right, well, but every time I try calling them, I have no, they have, nobody's there. They say, we're too busy. You can't, they don't they're have like a hold up. time, you know? You know when you're going to get it, you're going to get it in October. Right. <laughs> Which, I mean, at the end of the day, I'm going to get it. Right. He's doing and well. it's not well, like. When you get it, you yeah. go, uh, Right, here it is. Right. It's not like it's making or breaking the Sandy facility the ability to handle a house. Thank God. But I'll tell you. Well, it does. Right, that's true. Thank exactly God. right. But I'll tell you, like, this Florida thing is just killing us now. It's a sieve because nobody can rent the place. And we're still, you know, they gave us a forbearance on the mortgage, which is nice. But then that's still, that money comes due in six months. And it's all going And that's, that's nuts to me. I'm like, why wouldn't you just extend the mortgage six months? That would be the logical thing. Saying, like, you owe 1000 a month. Okay, well, now you owe 6000 a month. Who has that type of money? What's the, where's the logic in that? You know? circus was the greatest showman. I'm still going here. 5:45. We're almost at six yeah. minutes. I've been taking a lot of videos. So we did. The, I tell you. So normally, when being home, having my normal workload and managing the house has been like I don't know, 200, 300 percent of my workload. Now it's like only 100 percent. I've got so much stuff done around the house. I mean, like, I was able to get the kid, the the girl clothes out of here and brought in the Scott. Right, Kate steam up the kitchen. Wow. She steamed the tiles. So they still, you know, they've got their gears on them, but they look in, infinitely better. And it's all this stuff that just, you know, that, I mean, the kids are home every day. So any attempt at cleaning ends up getting thrown up. I'm not painting the walls because Joey's just going to scribble on them again. But um, I'm digging in on a lot of the junk that we just, when we moved in, we threw it into places and then we left it there, you know? And now I'm actually like figuring it out. It's it so they the hidden job. benefits, you know. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Painted walls, ceiling, baseboard, yeah, ground molding. That's it's tremendous. A There's a pinata. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah. So you yeah. so you, yeah. so you pulled all the bookshelves and everything and like. Yeah, no, yeah. No, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, furniture is staying, but she's no, no, but I mean like to get the walls in. See, look at that. And you were just in the bathroom like like what a year ago maybe. No way. The one you just did? And the doors. All the doors. Upstairs. Right. So the doors. I mean, like. Right, right. That's tremendous. Right. And all the rest of them. And what else are we doing, right? I mean, but you're probably still going in, right? The office is open? No. No, no. They told us to stay home. Really? So are you doing any. Are you doing any. Sure, sure, sure. I mean, at that, those three days. Right, right, right. Are you uh, so they're they're still giving you like caseloads to Are handle you it? Are you FaceTime with your brother? Over the phone and WebEx. Yeah, so, sure, uh, right. Whatever way we can get things done. Absolutely. I saw. Um, oh, it's gonna drive me nuts. Who's Emma? Um, it's not Emma Watson. Well, this is gonna drive me insane now. Your grandmother Who, posted on my post. Oh, what'd you say? Nine. <laughs> <laughs> so my grandmother is getting more active on Facebook. So she has had a couple of live streams of her feet. And uh, one of them of her face just looking at uh, the camera. And now Kate, because she does have Facebook on her computer. So now she's posted on Facebook and reply to Kate's post. The number nine. Nine. H, I think. Or maybe she just put a space bar and it was nine hours ago. Is that what it was? I don't know. It doesn't matter. I'm trying to call Mark through FaceTime. Anyway, um, who, who are the guys that are doing this YouTube channel now? They just started this off. John Krasinski. Oh, yeah. And who's his wife? Emma, isn't it? Emma, 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 Emily Blunt. Emily Blunt. I got him eventually. All right. So anyway, they did this whole thing where they're doing good news. Right, they're calling it a good news yes. channel, and so this most recent one he just did is about um, the Boston Red Sox. These are all Boston people, and they had the nurses and all that stuff go to the Red Sox um, stadium to go to Fenway Park and all that. So, full circle here. Long story short, they said, um, you know, for everybody else in that hospital, AT and T is giving them uh, three months of free service for all the emergency responders. And I'm like, also giving food to the. Like, I'm gonna give you the pop with the food oh. throughout the year. Right. For, for the first That's, I mean, it's great when you have those businesses that are doing well, that can do that, and that are thriving. I mean, I don't know that there's a lot of give back from the toilet paper industry or like, right, for the insanity. I mean, and the, the most absurd thing about that is it's just like you, everybody gets nervous about their stock, Thank even you though you don't need like to worry about it. People aren't using that, unless you're housing like a frat house, you're not going to have to deal with people running out of toilet paper at that extreme. If you're on the last roll and you're like, oh, well, this Saturday was my day to go, and then the world exploded, then you have a concern. But 
Most people, like, kids constantly, she's like, oh, do we have enough? Do you have enough? And I'm like, was everybody else not? Exactly. And now you can't find it. Now it's you a, can't find it's it. a problem. I like the dots. You like those dots? Super like fun that. dot paint, right? Put it in your bag. I like dot paint. Awesome. But it's uh, anytime there's a major run on things. Like I had, I have a subscription through Amazon, right? So it comes to the house every other month. And the one that I have ordered, they've completely sold out of because everybody went in there and eviscerated the stock. So you can't. Is your mom on the phone? My, no, I'm still taking a 10 minute video I mean, of him. Now. 